welcome back to my channel. Today, we will be talking about my current favorites. Now, I know it's kind of hard for me to do monthly favorites because I just completely forget when the month is over and I'm just like, are you serious? We're like in September already and we're actually like almost halfway through September, which is kind of crazy. So I just wanted to update you guys with products that I've been using lately and some products you guys have seen me use in previous videos um, because I've been like obsessed with them. But I just wanted to talk about them a little bit more. So I do have a whole bunch of things in front of me and let me just get a little bit comfy because I feel like I'm gonna be here for a while. So I'm just randomly going to start talking about things because I have so many things and I just don't know where to start. So first I wanted to talk about these two foundations right here because I've been using them a lot and I've been obsessed with them. Well this one's new for me because I tried it once and the color wasn't like matching me but I picked it up again in a different shade. This right here is the L'Oreal Lumi foundation and the top is like a disaster but this one here is in the shade W4 and I've been really liking this foundation lately since I do have dry skin. I feel like it just gives me a natural luminous glow and of course I have extremely dry skin so I feel like this foundation is going to work well with me um, especially for the winter time because it just gives me like a nice glow and I just love how it doesn't look drying on my face. This foundation is also one of my top favorites and I'm wearing it today. It's the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation which they did come out with this new foundation. It's kind of like an upgraded version of the regular um, HD foundation but this one is Ultra HD foundation and I'm in the shade 128. And on the bottom, I didn't know that they do have the old numbers, but it says 128, which is Y415. And they did come out with a whole bunch of colors, so you could definitely find your color. The only problem I had was I felt like it, this one wasn't yellow enough, but it's just, it's not a huge deal. Like, I just kind of bronze up my face a little bit, and it kind of just blends in together. But I really like this foundation. I love how it looks in photos. I feel like this is perfect for anybody. This foundation just looks good on any type of skin, like oily skin, dry skin. I just love it. It doesn't give me that luminous glow that the Lumi foundation gives me, but I do like to put this foundation and kind of highlight my face, and it's just blends so nicely anything that I put over this foundation like when I contour when I put my blush or highlight everything just blends so nicely and it looks so smooth and soft and it's just an amazing foundation so I did go to Sephora and they do have like these um little sample things that you can get with a certain amount of points and I picked this one up because I do have a lot of clients that have oily skin and they always tell me that they want to look matte and that they don't want their skin to get oily throughout the day so I did uh, pick up the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer um, Perfector and I do want to get the full size one. This is what it looks like right here. I believe you can get it for like 100 points at Sephora. But I do want to get the full size one because I feel like this really does make your skin matte. Um, especially in the T-zone area. I actually tried it myself the other day just because I wanted to see how it worked. And when I put it on my forehead and my nose it completely just mattified everything and I do get a little bit shiny on my forehead and my nose throughout the day like if I'm wearing my foundation or makeup for a long time but I do have blotting sheets for that and I only have a problem like in my t-zone but it's not like a huge deal like I get over greasy or anything like that it's just that it just gets shiny a little bit and I feel like that's normal even for people with dry skin like myself. So if you do have oily skin, you can definitely try to pick this up for 100 points at Sephora just to give it a try. Um, but I really do want to get the full size one. I don't even know how much it costs. But I'm going to get it anyways because I really like how it mattifies people's skin, especially if you have oily skin. And it just makes your foundation look nice and matte. So I'm kind of embarrassed to show you guys this nail polish because... It's like all crusty and old because I use it so much. I totally suck at keeping my nail polishes clean. Like they're always a disaster. And like I have eyeliner on my hands. That's pretty gross. But you guys have always um, asked me what nail polish am I wearing. And I really don't know sometimes. But the one that I mostly wear which is a very popular nude um, nail polish that I wear in a lot of my videos because I obviously own this one. And I you know paint my nails all the time. This one is called... 
Yo Soy, and it's Wet n Wild. I believe it's like under $3. So the other other day, I was at Marshall's with my friend, and I was looking at the shampoo area because sometimes you can find really good deals on expensive shampoos. And like I told you guys before, I don't really spend money on hair products like that. Um, I don't know why I'd rather spend money on makeup, but I did pick up this um, dry shampoo by Batiste. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. It's the floral and flirty blush scent. Um, I believe it costs yeah six dollars and it says compare at eight so I don't know what the retail price for this I think Ulta sells this but I wanted to give it a try because lately I don't know why my head's been getting really greasy and I don't know what it is I've also been breaking out I probably covered them pretty good but I've been breaking out so bad like right here right here and right here and right here just basically everywhere I even got like a pimple like right here on my head I don't know how that happened but it was pretty big and painful and all the pimples that I got this time are actually extremely painful like it hurts for me to move my face sometimes or when I sleep and like lay my face on the pillow it hurts and I'm just like why am I breaking out I don't know if it's because I've been eating spicy food lately or because I've been using the Neutrogena um, makeup remover wipe I feel like that's the reason why I broke out, but I'm not sure because spicy food, I love spicy food, but sometimes it makes me break out. So I don't know if it was the spicy food or the Neutrogena wipes, but I stopped using the wipes because I feel like that's what broke me out. So if you guys have oily heads, I don't really have an oily head, but I don't know why, like I said, I've been getting really greasy in my head and I don't like to wash my hair every day. I always skip a day. Sometimes I'll skip two days and I'll do like a little updo or something because I do have dry hair but for my scalp I just didn't know what to do and I did pick this up and I have been using it and it really does work like I only apply it to the top part of my hair wherever I have a split because I do like to you know always put a split in my hair I don't like to really have my hair back I don't know why but when I do want to wear my hair down and I don't want to wash my hair I'll spray some of this onto my roots and kind of like massage a little bit and it kind of makes the oil go away I don't know how but it's weird so speaking about facial wipes, I have been using the Costco brand. I don't know if everybody has a Costco, but um, these are daily facial wipes with extra, wait, no, extra large wipe with cucumber, chamomile, flower extract, and aloe. So I really do like this because it's calming to the skin and removes all my makeup. And I'd rather this than the Neutrogena wipes because they do leave my face a little bit greasy. And I don't know if that's what breaks me out, but... I'm not going to use those anymore. These brushes, um, I've been using them a lot and I've been picking them up a lot. And they are super, super affordable, which is the best part. They are by BH Cosmetics. These are the face brushes. It comes in a kit with other eye uh, brushes, like to put your eyeshadow on and to blend. But I've been really, really liking these three right here to apply my foundation. The flat one and like the little round one. I've been liking how it applies my foundation. And this kind of angled fluffy one to apply my contour. I feel like these brushes are, well this set is really good for the price. Like I really, really like it and they kind of look like Sigma brushes. I've also been loving this e.l.f. small stippling brush and I believe it was like three bucks. It's really, really tiny. I like to apply my highlight with this. Um, I did try to contour with this and do other things with this like my foundation, but I feel like it applies my highlight the best. So I've just been sticking to applying my highlight with this brush right here. So these two are by Morphe. I did mention them in one of my last videos. This is a blending brush and this one is the G17 from the Gunmetal Collection. This angled brush is the G29 also by the Gunmetal Collection. And I like this one to apply my eyeliner and this one to blend my shadow in the crease. I used it today. I fell in love with it. I just really want to get the whole Gunmetal Collection because... These brushes are so soft, like the packaging isn't all that great, but the brush itself is amazing and the price is like, you can't say no to that. So I just been really loving this lipstick. I mentioned it before and it's the Maybelline Touch of Spice lipstick. It's a 660 and it looks like this. I'm wearing it today and I feel like this is the perfect fall lipstick. One thing that I love about it is that it's not drying to the lips. It's super smooth. And it lasts a long time. Like I can eat something and 
my lipstick will still be there. I would just have to like touch up the middle just a little bit. But I really like this one. Super affordable. You can get it at any drugstore. And it is a matte lipstick by Maybelline. I do have other matte lipsticks by Maybelline. But this color is just, I don't know what it is. I just really, really, really like this color. Colors I've been using so much. You guys have seen me wear them on Snapchat a lot. I always take pictures of them. And I do have many, many looks with these colors. This one is Double Dare, which is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. And I was so happy that I found this color. Um, I really, really like this shade. Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks have to be one of my top favorite liquid lipsticks because they do last a long time and they're not extremely drying to the lips. I have recently tried um, liquid lipsticks that are supposed to last a long time but they kind of crack on my lips and kind of just fall like powder it's so weird and i hated that um i did purchase a few um liquid lipsticks that have done that to me and i'm just like yeah i'll just go to the cat Von D counter and just buy her lipsticks or her liquid lipsticks because they do last a long time and i believe they're like 20 dollars at sephora but again this one is double dare and this was the last double dare um at the counter so I was pretty excited that I picked it up so I've also been obsessed with this NYX butter gloss lipstick and this one is in the color tiramisu and it's such a beautiful glossy color I it at Ulta and it's kind of funny because there was this girl right next to me while I was looking at all the colors and I was just like I need a nude lip gloss but I don't know which one to get and she was just like Oh, I need a nude lip gloss and I don't know which one to get and I was just like oh my gosh me too and then she was just like looking there with me and I was just like you know what I'm gonna take tiramisu and I don't know what color she picked up but it was so funny because we were both looking for a nude glossy um lip product and you know I picked this one up and I trusted myself and I was just like this is gonna be a good color and I really really like it so whenever I do have glossy lips this is what I'm wearing so I'm just going to quickly just show you guys the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I've been obsessed with it. I've used half of it already because I've been obsessed with it. Um, I love to use this to set my under eye uh, concealer. I've been picking this up lately. I still use my Airspun Translucent Powder. But for some reason, I've just been picking this up. And yeah, i really, really been liking this for underneath my eyes. I feel like it brightens up nicely and it looks beautiful in pictures so that's a huge plus. I just wanted to talk about these three eyeshadow palettes that you guys have seen me use a lot and I just want to tell you that if you are looking for an eyeshadow palette that you're going to use all the time that's going to be well worth your money, these three right here are amazing. Like there's so many eyeshadow palettes out there and I know it's super hard to choose one because some of them look like another one and you just like already have one that looks like that but the tartlet palette is a must have like i use this thing so much it's so beat up already and i try to take care of it but seriously like all matte shadows and the colors are so beautiful they blend so nicely and i'm a huge fan of these three right here and these purples are so beautiful even on the lid and like a pop of like highlight in your inner tear duct it just looks beautiful um i feel like matte eyeshadows are everything and these right here are amazing so if you have not picked up this palette you have to pick it up if you want to purchase a palette that one is amazing so yes i'm going to mention these two morphe eyeshadow palettes in my current favorites because they are to die for and they're super affordable I believe they're like 20 something dollars and everybody out there has a coupon code for it so you can definitely get some money off this one right here is the 35 and no 35k palette which consists of cool tones and a little bit of warm tones not a lot of warm tones but it's a beautiful palette I can see like Christmas and New Year's all over this because of the beautiful silver and shimmery colors that it has. They are so pigmented and I'm just like obsessed with it. So yes, if you guys have not gotten this palette, you guys have to get it. So this palette right here has to be my number one top of the list eyeshadow palette. And it's also by Morphe and it's the 35O palette. People are obsessed with this palette everywhere on Instagram and YouTube and they do have a point because this palette is amazing. 
So it does have a lot of orange colors, which is perfect for fall. It has a whole bunch of pretty shimmer colors and it's just an amazing palette. The browns are beautiful. The neutrals are beautiful. The orange colors are so, so amazing. This right here is like your fall palette, like right here, just this. You don't need anything else but this. I'm actually wearing um, eyeshadows from this palette right here because I cannot put it down like I don't know if you guys have noticed that my eyeshadow looks have been looking kind of the same like orange tones and stuff because I've been like going to this palette like crazy I don't know if they're back in stock I have not checked yet I feel like the 35-0 just beats any palette that Marky has that palette is amazing the quality is amazing it's super affordable if you're beginning to do makeup those palettes are awesome the brushes are awesome I'm just a huge fan. So this right here has been my go-to mascara lately. I did use this in my last tutorial. And I've just been really, really liking this. I just want to purchase it again because I kind of told myself that I didn't like it when I first got it. But the second time, I fell in love with it. And I still love it. I'm so sorry. But I do love this mascara right here. And it's the Maybelline One by One Mascara. It just makes your lashes pop. So I have been really liking these glasses right here, and they're probably dirty because I had them in my purse, but they are by Sunglass Spot. Um, I found them on Instagram, a lot of girls like buy them, but they're like super cheap, $5 sunglasses that you could get like at H&M or Forever 21. So I really like this style right here. I do have a small face, but I love the cat eye look, and yeah, they do sell them here. I wish I would've got the ones that have like that blue like reflection but I didn't even notice that I got the black ones but I still love them so maybe I might get the one with the blue reflection later because they'll look cute in the fall time like you know you have your coat your hat and your sunglasses like I think that's cute so I'm quickly going to mention the Too Faced Coco contour kit in my current favorites because this is the only contour kit that I use the only one because it just I don't know like I really love the colors I only use these two though like I don't uh, these two right here I don't really use them like that but those two like I wish they would just come out with these two like in a separate smaller um, palette because this palette is pretty bulky and I only use these two colors and it smells like chocolate like it legit smells like white chocolate like cookies and cream so I really do love that because when I'm putting on my makeup I just love to smell the chocolate and I don't know, it just gets me so excited. So for perfume, I have been using the Burberry Brit and it just smells amazing. Like, I don't know. I like it. It's very different from the other um, perfumes that I've been using, like the the Chance, the pink one, and like the Daisy, um, the pink one. Like all my, shamp all my shampoos, all my perfumes are pink. I don't know what it is. But when I told the lady at the counter, I'm looking for something fresh, clean, and soft and she gave me this I was just like OMG like you're good I was like you're good because she chose the right perfume and I spray this bad boy like no other I'm like halfway through it and I get when I went to Myrtle Beach um in the outlet but I don't know that lady who who when I told her I want something fresh clean and soft and she was like I know just what you need and she pulls this out I was just like I looked at her and I was like oh my gosh I was like, thank you. I was like, you know me. So another thing that I've been loving that you guys see that I talk about all the time is my hair extensions that I'm wearing. And these are by My Fantasy Hair. They're 18 inches long and they're jet black. And I'll link down below if you guys want to check out their website. They are my absolute favorite hair extensions ever. Um, these are 18 inches and they go down to right here. Maybe um, sooner or later I can get like 20 inches so they could go a little lower, you know, just for a little bit of fun. But these are 18 inches and I'm kind of short so they are kind of long for me. But this, this is like the perfect length. Um, they are extremely thick and they are just beautiful. I just love how they look they're just so cute they blend so nice with my hair I always get compliments on it and when I tell people sometimes I'm like yeah these are hair extensions they're like are you serious I'm like yeah and then they start touching them they're like they're so soft I'm like I know I was like they're amazing and they just blend so nicely with my hair that's why I really like them they're so soft and I curl them with my straightening iron um, that's all I do so I can get like this you know beautiful curl 
I do have a coupon code for these hair extensions. It's Donna, and I will put it down below if you guys are interested in hair extensions. I really want you to try these if you are looking to buy hair extensions because I've tried like a few brands that are like really popular and, and I was not happy when I purchased those. But these, I will forever talk about them because hands down, they are amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!